Hi, my name is Sofia Cristalnes Peros, an optometry student from Mindanao Medical Foundation College. My topic today is about assistive devices for persons who have visual problem or impairment. There are several types of devices that can help people with that problem. And today, we will be focusing on electronic aids for orientation and mobility. Low vision in older adults is associated with significant declines in health, functional status, and quality of life. It is also linked to an increased risk of falls, cognitive decline, delirium, and depression. It is important that clinicians address vision problems in older adults. The National Eye Institute reported that in 2014, there are more than 4 million adults in the U.S. who had blindness or low vision, and the majority were over 65 years old. By 2030, that number is expected to increase to over 7 million. These are the low vision assistive devices, video magnifiers, millimeter wave radar technology, computers, electronic magnification units, smartphones and tablets, and audiobooks and electronic books. Electronic magnification units. These devices use video cameras to view objects and project a magnified image of the object on a computer monitor. The camera can be handheld and scanned across text or can be mounted in a device similar to document readers that are used in lecture halls, enabling an entire page to be viewed at once. High, le high level of magnification is up to 60 times larger and the size of print can be increased or decreased with a zoom control. Advantages include faster reading speed as well as greater working distance compared to other aids, which makes it easy to use for activities such as writing or drawing. Computers can usually read aloud or magnify what is on the screen. When a large screen TV is used as a computer monitor via an HDMI cable, the display is enlarged greatly. There are two main operating software platforms, the Microsoft Windows and the Apple Mac OS. Each offers a number of options for viewing enhancement. Both also include virtual assistant like Cortana and Siri that allow voice commands to access various functions on screen. For Windows, the area to go to is the ease of access center or accessibility options in older systems, which is achieved by searching for the control panel in the search field. For Macs, go to the finder and choose all applications and then accessibility. There are many options available like magnification, text enhancements, and text-to-speech, and to also be more confident when offering advice to a patient. Video magnifiers. These electronic devices are available in portable and desk formats. They combine a camera and a screen to magnify printed pages, pictures, or other small objects. You can adjust them to meet your special vision needs. For example, you can add contrast to make printed words darker. Some video magnifiers can read text aloud. Millimeter Wave Radar Technology the assistive device to be as simple to use as possible. With only one on and off button, a standard 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and a 6.5 millimeter power connector for the charging the battery. The device is worn as a common heart rate monitor belt. The battery life at full power and maximum vibration feedback was measured between 4 and 5 hours for this prototype when fully charged. 
The range from this prototype gives vibration or voice feedback is set to 3.5 meters. This distance is further divided to three different vibration frequencies to convey information from range bins of 0 0.3 to 1.5, 1 1.5 to 2.5, and 2.5 to 3.5 meters. The vibration elements are connected to the device casing. The voice feedback is given in spoken numbers, where 1 signifies the first range bin, 2 the second, and 3 the third, in similar way as with the haptic feedback. The radar sensor detects obstacles in a 25-degree horizontal angle, which means that it detects, for example, a 0 0.9 wide area 2 meter in front of the user. The vertical angle is approximately 70 degrees, which makes it possible to detect obstacles 1.4 meters above the position of the sensor at 2 meter distance. Smartphones and tablets. The so-called screen readers such as Google TalkBack for Android a function that comes within the Accessibility Options section on mobiles. The TalkBack serves as the primary interface through which blind and partially sighted people read, write, email, share on social media, place orders, and even write music. TalkBack reads text aloud on the screen, navigates through applications, and facilitates communication with Braille, speech and the keyboard so in this picture it is shown that for example a smartphone where you can navigate the talkback app audiobooks and electronic books with audiobooks you can listen to text that is read aloud with electronic books like kindle nook and others you can increase word size and contrast. And that is my report. Thank you.